What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. It's been a hot minute, but you got Brody and Kelsey back. I'm back in town. I was gone up in Illinois playing a little disc golf tournament. No tornadoes. No tornadoes, thankfully, but we are back in action today. We are filming this on Monday, April 29th. This will be up on our YouTube channel just shortly after that. And if you're watching this today, we are probably live on Whatnot right now, ripping a lot of packs. We got a full case. This is our first ever full case of hobby boxes that we're going through. We're gonna be chasing some of the new draft picks, Caleb Williams, Bo Nix, Malik Neighbors, chasing some of the big names in the draft. Also, we're gonna have this giveaway going on, the Zenith Blaster, so if you wanna hop in over there, definitely check it out, a lot of fun stuff. And you can get $10 for free by using our link in the description down below or on the screen right here. Jump into some breaks. Gonna be a good old time. Did you notice something? Yeah. Uh, there's an update, guys. And you might be thinking, how's there an update? You guys haven't really filmed anything. Kelsey's got some explaining to do. Do you want to show the people? Yes. Well, I gotta tell a story really fast. Um, or should we show the video? Let's just show the video. So Brody made me go out and purchase these. If you know me, you know how I feel about these, but there could be a kaboom in here. And since I had to purchase them, I will be... <laughs> Open one without him. Be a kaboom. Kaboom in here. No. Oh my god. That always scares me. That always scares the crap out of me. Wow, that scared me, you guys. <laughs> my face. My freaking face. I was so convinced that's that's what it was. Hey, it's a Zay Flowers though. On an explosive. Too bad it's not a Kabeem. I'm gonna send Brody the edge of this in a text to see what he does. After getting those absolute boxes that you made me go get, yeah. I can't believe that you made me do that. That was a tragic moment for me checking out. Here's the thing. I wanted to add a little kaboom action into our breaks today, and I thought that'd be a nice piece. However, yeah, I got this, and I had no, I, I had no idea. So there is another. I don't know if it's prestige or if it's something else that mimics a case hit. I think it's prestige, and it's the uh, uh, what is it called? It's one of the cards in prestige that looks it's like, like a, Hollow Hero, not Hollow Hero. Hollow Heroes is an illusion. Heroes. Heroes. You know that? It's, it's a case hit in Donruss. That's no. What's the one that I have the Dak Prescott one on? That's Heroes. That's a case hit in Donruss. Oh, it is. Yeah, it was a short print. Maybe not case hit. Short print, maybe. Okay. Anyway, I thought it was something along those lines, but as I looked at the back of the box of the Blaster box and explosive was at the end, I was like, "Hold on, let me call my husband really fast." Yeah. So you guys saw in the video. She initially, when she sent me the photo, she was trying to prank me. But the print kind of backfired because I was like, no jit, that's a legit card. And I, I was actually like stoked. I wasn't like, oh my God, you hit a kaboom? Like I could tell that it wasn't a kaboom yeah. and it was an explosive. Yeah. So I called her immediately. Here's the last clip of her understanding that it was a big card. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Brody and I did not know that this was a case hit. So my reaction to it, I'm like, oh, sad, it's not a kaboom. Didn't know that this was a case hit, so here we go. I don't know if we're gonna send this one into PSA or not, but very excited and hopefully we pull our first ever kaboom on whatnot tonight. So definitely gonna check that, that I was out. I kinda tossing that thing around when I didn't think it was anything good. But we got new product in front of us. Yeah. We got new product, we got the value packs. These are Zenith. Um, not too much really to hit out of these guys, to be honest with you. You can hit number cards all the way down to one if you get the touchdown. So you are chasing some low numbered cards there. Um, you can also pull autographs out of here as well. But no A to Z, um, no Max. A to Z in here and also no zooms in here. So no case hits. So the best thing you can really pull out of here are gonna be the autos or a very low numbered card. These are retailing right at about $7.99. Some places are even higher, like $10. I wouldn't recommend paying $10 for these. Um, $7.99 is not bad. We have 10 of them. 
So I thought that would be a good, um, you know, a good sense of what you can pull out of here. You can pull, I think you can pull those mosaic cards, which would be nice. The, mosaic red the blue and red ones. Yeah. Yes, you can pull the blue and reds. So that's probably what we're really after outside of a nice auto. All so right. Let's well, see what we have. What is it, 30 cards in here? I don't know. Five rookies, three parallels, two inserts. Also, Dark Horse Zeke back to the Cowboys. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, we haven't even talked about the draft. Last time, um, oh, yeah, nice uh, Z Star is coming up. After, what, what was your team? Uh, how do you guys do in the draft? I think the Bears killed it. Yeah. The Bears killed it. The Raiders, I don't know what the Raiders are doing. I, I love Michael Meyer. Michael Bro Mayer. Mayer, sorry. Brock Bowers is legit. I get it. But you already have a good tight end. So I, di I didn't understand that pick. Falcons, if you're a Falcons fan, I am so sorry. sorry. That is the most ridiculous pick I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments. Ooh, Trevor Lawrence. Let us know in the comments uh, how'd your, how, how you guys think your team did in the draft. I like um, that this one's pink. Yeah, Z team's nice. It's gonna be really interesting. Nice little red zone there. Yeah. Oh, back to back red zone. Jameer. Oh, a lot of rookies in the back. Holy cow! So it looks like you get a crap ton of base cards. Then you get your couple inserts and parallels, and then all base rookies um, after that. So, all right. Okay. Nice. Um, Oops. I think this next year is going to be crazy in the For card cards. world because they were just talking about how this is the first time I think all 15 quarterbacks, first, well, six quarterbacks in the first 12 picks, the first 15 picks were all offensive players. So you're going to be chasing tons of quarterbacks. You're going to be chasing tons of wide receivers. And uh, I don't know, it's going to be, it's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And on whatnot, that's what we're going to be chasing. We're going to be chasing just some of the big names, hoping to hit some uh, nice autographs. Ooh. Hello, Joe Bosa. Hello, Joe Nick. Bosa. Is that, oh, that's Nick Bosa from, uh, yeah, Joey's on. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Rodgers. They got him some help. The Jets got some help there. Who did they pick up? They picked up. Oh, there's a, a Sam Laporta. Um, just a base. Yeah. Let's see, draft class. I should have had this open to begin with. So this we could chat about of, it. Yeah, it's kind of cool to look at. Um, it's not still going, right? Here we go. Oh, oh I'm saying God. class. It needs to be draft picks. NFL draft. It needs to be draft. 2024, yeah. Micah Parsons, yeah. Red Zone. OJ. Ooh, there's a if, nice one. If you know, you know. There's a nice Will Levis. Nice. And then here's our first Thunder, Thunder and Lightning. And Lightning. Okay, so you had Caleb Williams go to the Bears. Jaden Daniels go to the Commanders, which I, I don't I don't mind that pick. I think Drake May actually might be a lot better than... There's a nice Bijan. I think Drake May might be a little bit better than people are thinking. I love Marvin Harrison Jr. on the Cardinals with Kyler Murray. He yeah. had a dope outfit. I liked his outfit. Yeah, a lot of those guys did. Joe Alt probably had the greatest. I can't agree with that. Oh, okay. Joe Alt probably had the greatest um, video of where he, did you see it? He's just like, I mean, he's a massive guy. And he's just sitting around all these really small looking people. Malik May Neighbors to the Giants is going to be kind of cool. Interesting to see what happens Waddle. when they give. Um, Ooh. Who's this guy? Oh, is that Dalvin Cook? Cook. When they give uh, Daniel Jones some help, right? Those are Raiders. I think that's kind of his last hope, last chance there. Red zone. You can scoot Red up. Zone. I feel like you always are back, and you do better when you're closer. Yeah. Like, it doesn't yeah. hurt your back as much. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, because you, like, lean too much. That's nice. Play tune. See, this is what happens when I don't the handle the piles. The piles get... Cray-cray? The piles get really nuts. Um... What do you think of these value packs so far? Eh. I think I think if they're there and eh. you just want to, I think it's nice if you just want to grab one, right? You just grab one, open it if you feel like ripping something real fast. But I I don't think you're really expecting to really eh. hit much of anything. We we haven't really hit anything out of the first ten, I would say. Yeah, no. The inserts are nice, so you you do have a couple shots of getting a nice insert here from a good play. Ooh, Ooh like that one. Like that one, the red mosaic on JSN. My poor nail. 
That's your best. That's all y'all are going to look at now that I pointed it out. Oh, that's like your best <laughs> bet right there is getting that like one? a nice, well, getting like a nice red mosaic like that. Or getting a number card. I've been looking. After, yeah, we, we've only gotten red zones, right? Yeah. Nothing better than red zones. There's a Laporta. Um, okay, let's see. Unless I missed yeah, one. Yeah, so Michael Penix went at number eight. That's so early. Uh, Adunze is nasty for Who? the Bears. Adunze. Adunze. Rome Adunze. Yeah, he played for Washington. He was Michael Penix's oh. number one receiver. Okay. J.J. McCarthy. I thought, I don't know. What are your guys' takes on J.J. McCarthy? I always I'm, think of A.J. I, McCarthy. I'm out on J.J. McCarthy. I don't know anything about the kid. I'm out. Um, the Jets took an offensive tackle, so gave gave um, Aaron Rodgers a little bit more protection up front. So I don't I don't hate yeah. that. Ooh, there's a Will Anderson Jr. Nice Daniel Jones on the oh! oh, Jameer Gibbs and Goff on the blue mosaic Thunder and Lightning. Nice. Wow. That's what we're after. We want more of those. Any numbers here? Number cards? No red zones both. Uh, Bo Nix to the Broncos, so they said Sayonara to Russell Wilson, and There's now a nice Puka. They said you're being rough with the cards. I am. I feel yeah, a little, a little bit, a little, a little roughness, Sorry, a little I'll roughness. A, I'll be a little more gentle. Yeah, first, so the first defensive player was uh, pick sixteen. That was Byron Murphy going to Seattle Seahawks, defensive tackle out of Texas. The guy's a monster. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. A bunch of, a bunch of, um, Aaron Rodgers on the Pacific. Nice. A bunch of, uh, defensive guys kind of went all in that one little spot. That's a cool one. I haven't seen this one. What are you guys' thoughts on Xavier Worthy? So they the got, fast guy. they got rid of Tyree Kill a while ago, right? And yeah. now. Oh, Miami did? No, no, no. He was on the Chiefs. Tyree Kill was on the Chiefs. Oh, he with was. Patrick Mahomes. It was an absolute monster. He was. Why and, did they get rid of him? Uh, just, you know, it started, it was too expensive. Probably, oh. Right? He, he wanted a lot more money and they couldn't really give it to him. And then Florida, one of my, I went to Florida, so I'm a fan of the Gators, obviously. I'm also a fan of Ohio State. Actually, no Ohio State players got drafted in the first round, except for Marvin uh, Harrison Jr. That was the only one. But Florida got their number one wide receiver. The guy with the fresh fit. Uh, Ricky Persall, Slick Rick. He got drafted in the first round too at 31 to the 49ers. So he's okay. going out to Brock Purdy. Slick Rick. So their offense got a little bit better too this offseason. Debo so. Samuel. I'm excited. I'm excited for football season to get around. Get, get back going. I swear to know? God, this guy was at her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> with one of my cheerleader friends. He's dating a, or dating, yeah, he's he's with a um, Sports Illustrator model now. Yeah. Good Red friend. Zone, All right, we have two more packs of this. I don't know, guys. I'm I don't not, know. I'm not feeling it. I'll say, see, rough with the cards. I'm saying. not feeling it, and you know how much I like Xena. I'll say this. I Yeah, I think the Mega Boxes are number one. Blasters are right after that, and then these are definitely the third, for sure. If you want to rip some Zenith and you want to go after those mosaic cards, which look sick, then if this is your only... Get oh, that sorry. out of here. I'll move there. If this is your only option, then maybe go for it. Who is this? Um, that's Von, Von Miller. Miller. Yeah, Von Miller. See, I want that on a blue. Like Justin Jefferson there on the blue would look nasty. Getting no numbered cards either. All red zones. Wow. Crazy. I don't know. I don't. We'll, we'll definitely not have any of these in our in our breaks on whatnot today. That's yeah. for sure. We we just bought ten. We're ripping all ten. We have some megas that we'll be doing. But the megas are way better. Yeah, way better. Unless this is a nasty value pack, and then one out of ten is gonna be nasty. Here we go. We need to pull an auto. Yeah, we need to pull an auto. Or right or uh, something something nasty here, like a nice lum, no low number card. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I've never seen Is that, that a case hit? What is that, Janice? A rookie wave? That card is sick. <laughs> what is it? It's on here. It's the last thing. Is that the case hit out of here? Is that the case hit? Rookie Wave Zenith? 
I'm never. I mean, we've I opened never, ten of them, and we only got one. Um, twenty twenty. Let's see, Bijan, Bijan. Let's see what it's going for. I don't even see it. Does anyone even have it? That's Chronicle. I saw. I saw a Will Levis one. Rookie wave. Zenith rookie, rookie wave. What the heck? Oh. Oh. Yeah, case hit. She did it again. <laughs> what? And, a, and a thing that we didn't think. Yeah, I mean they got they got someone has the CJ Stroud one listed oh at four hundred dollars right now. Um, I don't think it'll sell at four hundred. No. But you've got uh you got Anthony Richardson's at fifty bucks with two hours left. So that's probably a twenty five thirty dollar wow. card. So I guess you'll be updating that for the next video. Wow, here you go. I'll tell you this much, guys. It's probably oh, it's thick too. It's like a thick. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's like that's sick. I'll say this: I don't think that's gonna be her only case hit today. So join us on whatnot. Click the link in the description. We're starting at seven p.m. tonight. We're gonna be ripping packs all night. Hope for you guys. Um, there it is. What? You might be alone. Oh, for some of it, yeah. For all of it? We'll figure it out. But we're going to have a good time. Zenith. Um, now, I will say this. I take back everything I just said. The fact that now there is that yeah. that you're hunting, yeah. I think these are worth going after and picking up now. Because before that, like you can only pull that out of these, which, oh. makes, it, which makes these way more valuable. I see. Right? If you really want that card. When was the CJ Stroud one listed? Uh, it say? We, when was it listed? Yeah, like these, these just yeah, like, today. Yeah, like it, it, every all these are are popping up right now because these people started picking these up last week. I see. So they're very new. Okay. So well, well, I'm, I'm glad we hit that. I yeah. didn't even check to see that. That's my bad. I completely. I guess you can get this in sparkle too. Ooh. I don't know what that. I don't know what that looks like. Ooh. But that's gonna do it, guys. Very wow. cool stuff. Appreciate it and hope to see you all tonight on Whatnot. Thank you guys and uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Panini's in Irving? We're. Panini's in Irving, Texas. We are getting close to. Okay. We are getting close to uh, 10,000 subscribers. So help us get there. We appreciate all the support and we'll see you in the next one. Keep, Keep ripping them packs.